Bye, Vogue. Ciao. It's Cardi, and I'm going to talk with you guys today about my first day at the Met Gala and what you guys put me through. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's rewind. So much was happening in my life in 2018. I was moving. I was focusing on doing my album and thinking about my baby. It was a lot. It's a lot that year. Party and I first actually physically met in Miami. He hired me to do Art Basil. Did I say that Art Basil? Art Basil. Do you remember if I were to say Art Basil? Like Basil? <laughs> So funny. I was like, I want to have that cool chick Cardi who sings that Bodak Yellow song. He was just so welcoming. He's always so welcoming. Like, he always makes you feel good. I was kind of shocked that she seemed so reserved. She was very sweet. And he is just, like, so exciting. Like, his, his clothes really represent him. His personality matches his clothes, so he matches me. He matches my energy. Shortly after, she would have come to my show in February. And then it just kind of stuck to me, like, she should go to the Met with me. She should be my guest. For him to take me to the Met Gala, it was just, like, genius. I, I, it, it was just meant to be. The theme was heavenly bodies, fashion, and the Catholic imagination. When I heard the theme, I was just so excited because I'm I'm Christian Catholic. I was really excited because there were so many ideas that it could be thinking about religious art, Pietras, sculptures, Madonnas and Child. And All I thought about was just royal, queen. Also, I knew secretly that she was pregnant. She had divulged that with me. And all I was thinking about was like, Mother Mary, because I was pregnant, like I really wanted to do that, but like, you know, like a modern version. That became the new surprise to have to deal with in this equation. And I wanted to look like, like royal, queen, motherhood. He sent me sketches, of course, and of course, everything looks really amazing on the sketches. The first fittings are always funny. You know what I'm saying? Because your hair be messed up, your face be messed up, the dress was really big. She was swimming in it when we did the first fitting. And I'm like, um, I don't like that. <laughs> we had to take it in uh, immensely to make it fit perfectly. And that was a challenge with all the beating, as you can imagine. When everything came together, I was just like, wow. It's a little bit of a trial and error. You start doing some embroidery samples. It came back even better than the sketch. You could see it, you could see the work, you could see the time, you could see the effort. I think that if we estimate the amount of people working on it, doing the handwork, um, 24 hours, <laughs> what is that, 24? 24 times two weeks, which is 14 days, 33,600 hours. Of individual hourly work. Dang, isn't that crazy? I mean, when you see it in person and you see every little small detail. And then there's always the final thing that has to change because that's just the way it is. I told Jeremy Scott that I wanted like a, a, a big headpiece. When we were doing the fitting, she really wanted this kind of crown. Just the headpiece is such a bold statement. You can really tell when you really collaborated with the designer and when did the designer just let you just dress you. You know what I'm saying? It just shows how much you love fashion. We set about making one in a very short amount of time. I think like the third time of the fitting, like I saw the headpiece and I almost even forgot about the dress because that's how amazing the headpiece was. I think she was right to want that headpiece. I think it really topped off the look and it made it really even more um, in theme. Like I said, like that's what you see the saints have.
Let me tell you something. Days of the Met Gala is always very stressful. The day before, the day after, the month after, it's always very stressful. Well, the day of the Met is always a bit like Cinderella going to the ball. You gotta wax your lip, you gotta wax your eyebrow, you gotta do, 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 do. You gotta make sure you sh your legs is nice and shaved. Lord of mercy, I can tell you there's been times that people have been in a hair and makeup black hole for hours and hours and hours, and that's one of my worst nightmares. <laughs> So you know, us women, well, we are we are very specific about red. So we decided to do a red lip, right? And I just felt like the red didn't match. <laughs> it wasn't the red that I wanted. So um, my makeup artist, she was just running back and forth, getting different type of reds to match the jewel, the jewels on the dress and the and the crown. It was just like, oh. Just the little things just, just sets everybody off. With the hair. I love when my real hair is out. I just feel like like a lioness. Like I just feel so beautiful. I feel so natural. Like I feel like it represents me. She was dead set that she wanted to have this hair and this volume. I mean, my hair don't get that big, you know what I'm saying? I need more inches. So she went that direction. And again, I think she was completely right. One thing that me and Colin always do when we have like major red carpets or something events, we always debate our nails. Nobody like kisses my ass, this and that. If they feel like something doesn't go, they just got to tell me like, I don't feel like it goes. And we actually agreed on the nails. Cause my nail artists don't be having them either. I distinctly remember realizing that she seemed nervous when we were on our way there. I was really anxious, I was really nervous. And I just said to her in the car, I said, we got this. He always make you feel like, no pressure, it's all good, it's all fun, be happy. I hope that gave her a little bit of peace and calm. It was a lot of pressure, cause it's like, I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for this person as well. Once I hit the red carpet, I don't know, I just felt like this confident. I just felt so, so royal. She lit up and there she was, the Kari that we all know and love. You look like an angel. Yeah, you too, you're beautiful. Oh, damn. It was so many paparazzi, but once I hit that carpet, I'm like, hold my purse. Cracking jokes, telling the photographers, you know, he's my baby daddy. When you see my look, I feel like you just don't see a pregnant woman. I feel like you see royal goddess, woman, motherhood. It was fun, we had a wonderful night. You guys don't even understand. I was like, woo, ciao. I, I saw how happy Jeremy was and, and that makes me happy too. Like, I feel like I always have like a, a connection with him. I love him so much. It was just a really beautiful, beautiful night and I have that to cherish with me forever. Thank you guys. I feel like I'm a family with Vogue. I don't know why. I need my office there. <laughs>